All right, time to take a look at the Vivor tire grinder. Okay, nice. So that is the main tool. So this is like a die grinder, but I believe this is a slower speed die grinder. So you don't have to worry about melting the rubber or causing more damage than you should be. It has a nice thick rubber handle. We have a trigger on there that does not have a latch on there, which is great because I don't like having those things on there. This just makes it a lot easier. Got a quarter threaded hole in the bottom and we have a quick release chuck on the top. And we have our hose, and it looks like it even has some extra protection on here, which is great. And these are parallel threads with rubber O-rings. Well, that's pretty cool. They actually give a full breakdown of all the parts inside, so if you ever need to take this thing apart, you can do that. That's pretty cool. So here's our cutting head, and you can see it's got all these holes on the inside, so that's going to help prevent it from getting all gunked up, because we're going to be cutting on rubber, we don't want this thing to get built up, and that's going to make this thing a lot easier so we don't have to clean it off every time we use it. It also has a threaded hole in the middle to hold it on, and we actually have two different styles of shafts. So we have this quick release shaft right here, so we can just take this, and that will lock in here. There we go. So that's pretty cool. But something that's even cooler is we actually have another threader rod just like this. And you can use that for a standard die grinder if you want to use that. So that's pretty cool. We also have our air coupler. This is a female, so that's going to go on the other side of that hose. And we have a hose clamp. So if we don't have anything that's going to really work, we need to tie into another line. We can make that happen with this. So they really gave us everything to make sure that we got this thing going. So I'll put this guy on. I'm going to connect air, and now, there we go, she runs, very cool. So yeah, very simple tool. The main thing that people use these for that I'm aware of is for cutting out the inside of tires where they've been punctured. So if you're gonna patch it from the inside, what you wanna do is you wanna remove all that lining, any kind of coatings that they may have put on on the inside of the tire because you want that patch to have the absolute best chance of adhering. So you use this to kind of cut that out, buff it out, clean it up, put the patch directly on top of that, and then it will stick and it will be just as good as the rest of the tire. So these things are fantastic for that. So overall, that is a very cool tool.